Mami, yo quiero verte, quiero ver porque te extraño. No me dice nada porque casi ya no hablamos. Ya no hablamos de estás. Hablemonos del pasado. Del pasado. Solo quiero verte como cuando nos amamos. Good morning, you guys. So I just woke up. It's like 9:30 right now, and I do have work at 11:30. So I literally have to like <laughs> hurry up and get ready because I do have stuff to do before I leave for work. What the fuck is a face lotion, sissy? There's a pants. My girl was saying I do have stuff to do before I leave, so I have to hurry up. But I'm just gonna put on her outfit real quick and then drink some coffee. Probably pack my bag because I do wanna pack some snacks for work. I'm only working till 4.15, so I only have one break, so I probably won't even get to eat that much. But I'm gonna just take a little snacky snacks just so I'm not like all like dizzy and stuff because I do get so dizzy when I don't eat for work, you guys. Like usually I could go like most of the day without eating and I'll be fine, but like at work, when you're just standing, like you have to eat because if not, you get dizzy. Today's video is a nail vlog. I love doing nail vlogs. I love getting my nails done and I love editing them because the time lapses are always so satisfying and I like putting new music and stuff. But these nails are special just because these are my birthday nails, my 19th birthday nails. It's my birthday week. My birthday is on Saturday. I don't know when you guys will see this just because I do have work until literally Friday. So it kind of depends if I have time to edit because I do end pretty late both days and start pretty early. Sorry, I'm changing you guys. I'm trying to multitask. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I really hope you guys enjoy nail vlogs. Um, I know you guys requested them a lot, but if you guys are still into them, let me know down below so I know to do them more. Um, maybe I'll get my nails done for the start of class, but for the start of class, I'm definitely gonna go on the shorter side. But also, maybe I just won't get my nails done because I really won't have money to spare because you guys are gonna have to be paying for college books around the same time, so literally a will see situation but i'm gonna spoil myself a little bit it's gonna be my birthday present to myself don't forget to like comment and subscribe on this video if you guys enjoyed it i'm going with my good friend edna to get my nails done i'm pretty sure you guys know her if you guys watched uh, my latest nail blogs um she was my friend in high school and now she's a nail tech so i go support her because her work is awesome not only because she's my friend but because she's a great ass nail artist so that's that. I will leave her Instagram right here for you guys to go follow. But anyways, let me take you guys along with me getting ready and stuff. And also uh, getting the stuff I have to do. Maybe I'll blog a little bit at work. Or uh, maybe. Just maybe. Just because I don't want to get in trouble or nothing. But we'll see. Let me finish getting ready. I just put on some pants. I'll show you guys in a little bit. I literally have to clean my room because it's so bad, you guys. Like, it's horrible i don't think i've ever seen my room this messy in like literally like 18 years i've been living <laughs> like i usually try to keep it pretty clean but you guys there's clothes everywhere like this is so embarrassing um so i have to clean it i can't wait to start packing for college and stuff i'll be cleaning out in like the next week or so you guys won't have to see this mess anymore but anyways i literally just have to put on my shoes and then i'll be done because that's literally all i do for work i'm probably gonna try to fix my hair a little bit but that's it so it's 10 14 right now i honestly got ready pretty fast like i'm really impressed with myself but right now i'm just drinking my coffee and i'm just waiting for my dad to finish getting ready so he can drop me off i'm probably gonna be at work early just so he's not late to work i started 11 30 and he will have to drop me off at 11 to be early but 30 minutes is nothing and i actually like getting there a little bit early i actually put in my two weeks so i won't work there after august 18 that's gonna be my last day um i feel like it's gonna make work go by so much faster now that i know when i'm gonna end you know like it's almost done and i feel like it makes me like not not that it makes me not want to give a fuck but it just makes me not care too much if things go wrong or like if someone's rude to me i'm like i'm leaving anyways like <laughs> you're the one that has to come back to the store to shop or whatever you know but anyways i know today's gonna be a long day i'm probably gonna be really tired but i'm really excited because i'm probably gonna go get kings i do work the fitting rooms today which is really really boring but at least it's a chill day you know i don't really have to do much but stand there i'm here watching pink sparkles i've literally been watching her since like 2014 like a hell of a long time and this girl's being bad 
You're being bad. You're trying to bite my computer. Oh, there's another kitty back there. Bro, why does he look so mad? <laughs> I'm gonna look ugly at work, but at least I'll smell good. I'd rather look ugly and smell good. <laughs> but anyways, I got my cute little bag. I'm on my way to work now. I'm feeling like I'm gonna have a good day today. But uh, my brother just texted me saying that he doesn't even know if he could take me to my nail appointment. But either way, I'm gonna have to figure it out. It's just the fact that I have to figure it out that makes me a little bit like, ugh. I don't want to have to deal with that because I'm supposed to be going right after work. So when am I supposed to find the time to figure it out if I'm going to be at work, you know? But I don't want to cancel on end now, so either way, I'm going to have to figure it out. And my brother was not able to take us, so I was freaking out. Um, he was like, you could take an Uber or whatever. But I ended up asking my friend Alex for a ride. If you guys used to watch the school blogs, you guys know who Alex is. Um, he used to be in the school blogs a lot. So I really appreciate him for taking us all the way over there, y'all, because it was really, really really far but yeah i was like stressing at work y'all like i could not use my phone because the big bosses were there but i was like trying to sneak in my phone sometimes trying to find a way to make eventually okay guys so i didn't update you guys but i'm with Anna now hey guys. <laughs> i'm gonna put a picture of the inspiration picture that Anna actually sent to me and we're gonna actually do that so let's go watch the nail process now i look like shit y'all but i had a bad day at work <laughs> like we're not even gonna talk about it <laughs> Quiero que me explique una cosa Como es que tu cara es tan hermosa Dime que color te gusta si te compran rosa Eres muy única para regalarte la roja Dime ASAP Baby, tú no necesitas make-up Estás en mi mente buena, wake up Y estás a mi lado buena, niña Fabio Guerra No tengo que explicar, solo digo la verdad Si te digo que por ti me muero Que por ti me muero Because okay, so I was taking like this older lady out, right? Uh -huh. And then the security guard comes and he's like, Oh, do you know about K1? And I was like, K1, K1, K1. It wasn't ringing in memory. Uh -huh. So usually, if like team members come around, they're like, Hey, did you see Bob? So then you just, like make sure you check under the cart. Or like, Hey, did you check Lisa? Like if they have um a drawer, you, you check the drawers to make sure there's nothing there. Uh -huh. And then I'm like, No, what's K1? And they're like, Oh, I'm gonna just turn off your light. So I can explain to you real quick. So the other lady leaves and he turns on my light and he's like, so K1 is like a lot of scams that have been going on. Like they usually tell you this background story and like they tell you to put cash because of this special card they have or something. And I'm like, why does this sound so familiar? <laughs> I was like, you know what, this actually happened to me yesterday. And they're like, what do you mean it happened to you yesterday? I was like, yeah, like this, this, oh, this lady came with her boyfriend and she was buying all this shit. And then she was like, oh, like, I'm not from here. Like, I just came from California. But, so my car is a little special. I have to insert it. I was like, okay, like, insert it. And she's like, yeah, and then you have to put cash and then the amount I owe. So I was like, okay, she owns 400, you know, <laughs> or eight, with 69 cents. Uh -huh. The cash were opened. And I just closed that bitch back up and took the receipt. I was like, here you go. Have so a basically, good one. when you do cash and then the amount, that's the same process you would do if they pay with cash. So basically, I'm telling the system they paid $400 with cash. I felt for her story. I was like, oh, here's your receipt. Have a good one. And she's like, oh, you know what? I forgot something. She comes back with $900 worth of stuff. And she tells me to do the same thing again. And I'm like, okay, like, here you go. Have a good one. And then the security was like, oh, no. Like, baby, what is he doing? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. I'm like, damn i feel dumb like it's so obvious now that i you know uh -huh. but he's like it's okay like you didn't know you weren't trained for it so you can't really get in trouble for it i was like okay bet it's not coming out of my paycheck whatever <laughs> so i'm here laughing about it and shit then in the next day uh my manager which is basically the leader of our department like the checkouts uh -huh. like up front he i'm over here cashiering and then he over the walkie he's like hey jennifer can you come to the back and i'm like oh maybe he just wants to hear the story one more time right so I sit down and I'm like, hey, he's like, so what happened? And I'm like, oh, like what happened, right? So I I, I tell him the story and then he's like, I didn't know it was that much. I was like, fuck, is it coming out of my paycheck now? <laughs> and he's like, well, do you have anything to say? I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, what do you want me to say? 
He's like, mm, well, we'll talk more about it tomorrow. I'm like, what the fuck do you mean tomorrow? Like, you need to tell me my consequences now. Because I'm going to quit right now if it's coming out of my paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, yeah, I'm like, we'll talk about it more tomorrow when I know more information. So I go back to Kishiri and shitty, shitty as fuck. I'm not even saying hi. Like, what's your name? <laughs> I'm here just scanning the shit and putting the shit in the bag. And then he's like, hey, Jennifer, can you come back to the back again? And I'm like, oh. and then he's like, so I've talked, I've talked to more people and you basically can't get in trouble because we really didn't train you for it. But we are logging it down. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> logging it down, what does that mean? Like, <laughs> other jobs yeah. can see it? <laughs> or like, it's just for like record purposes. Like if it happens again, you can, I can get in trouble. Uh. And he's like, oh, it's just like, if it happens again, we are going to have to take um, more... Serious action. More serious action right there. And I was like, okay, well, bye. Wait, I have all, 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 these. all these colors? Yeah, you need a nude. <laughs> I thought I was pink. just looking at it. <laughs> Amarte, me resulta imposible nunca pensarte. Si este mundo no te gusta, nos mudamos a Marte. Y hoy pa' donde sea, con tal de poder tocar. Allá afuera llueve, y son más de las nueve. Pero si quiere verme, los frenos de mi carro esta noche no creo que frenen. Y perdóname si me tomo el riesgo. Si me pasa algo, pues me lo merezco. Pero no me basta con hablar por texto. Mejor me espero a verte pa' darte un novedo. Dice que soy un sim Solo porque quiero estar cerca de ti No me importa que digan de mí Nunca me arrepentiré de cuando te conocí No tengo que explicar, solo digo la verdad Si te digo que por ti me muero Que por ti me muero Yeah, yeah, yeah Se me olvida cómo hablar Tu mirada me hace mal Es que con tanta belleza no puedo Te juro que no puedo Quiero que me explique una cosa Cómo es que tu cara es tan hermosa Dime qué color te gusta si te compran rosa Eres muy única para regalarte de las rojas Dime ASAP Baby, tú no necesitas make-up Estás en mi mente buena, wake up Y estás a mi lado buena, niña Fabio Guerra No tengo que explicar, solo digo la verdad Si te digo que por ti me muero Que por ti me muero
You'll see. So she's on her way to work. Did you show them your nails? No. Look at her nails. Okay, period. Period. We'll see how she does at work today. Because you are going to have nails. Girl, I'm at school. I'm so excited for my birthday. Um, He's so cute. <laughs> Bernine. Hi. Y'all, look at all these boxes. Like, I have so much boxes in this house. Because all these stuff are for my dorm. The cats have been loving all these boxes. He's so cute. But anyways, I'll update you guys in the pinned comment how work goes and stuff. And let me know if you work with really long nails. Because I'm really curious. There's a lot going on. But I love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.